Hi, everybody. <laughs> so, I am filming this so that I don't have to have the same conversation again uh, every week for the next two months. Okay? Okay. Um, so, I will be uploading this video to YouTube and sending you a link in your email that you can figure out how to go and click on it if you want to watch it again or if you aren't here. So that's why we're doing this now. And my uh, intention tonight primarily is to keep you abreast of all of the changes and all the things that we are trying to do a better job of this year to keep track of a growing music department. Sound good? Yes. Wonderful. All right. If you don't have email. If you don't have email, you're a present anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is primarily for the folks that aren't here, okay? But yes, uh, in the event that we do anything electronically only, I'll always have a few printed copies for people that need them, okay? All right, so I'm going to read some stuff, and then I'm going to clarify some stuff after I've read it that's not on this page. Those of you that don't have this, don't have it because I'm going to give it to you. Um, but since I've already started the video, I'm going to wait to give it to you until after I talk. Is that all right? Yes. yes. Okay, so here we go. To all current singers, it is with great joy and anticipation that I welcome you to the beginning of our new season. Whether you've been here since the beginning or this is your first rehearsal ever, we are so pleased that you have decided to join one of our choral singing groups. I have decided to put this handout together to specify some policy items that either may not be known by the rookies or should be clarified for the veterans. In some cases, our department is seeking to implement some new ways of doing things as we foresee continued growth. In the end, all of the things that may be new to you have been decided upon because, despite being a large entity, we want to continue to be able to show how much we value each individual. We care about who you are and how you are, as well as where you are. It helps us to plan better as stewards of the talents God has allotted us. It also helps us to ensure that, in the event of an emergency, we can know you may require special outreach if you aren't able to attend when we've been expecting you. Please understand that with such unique circumstances for a church built within a community like the Villages, this is only a first step to figuring out how best to meet our goals. We ask you to be flexible in the coming months, but diligent in operating within the guidelines we're establishing in order to help us to do the job we've been given to the best of our abilities. With most sincere thanks, yours truly. Okay, so here's the deal. Overall, we need to keep track of everything we're doing more specifically and more ongoing so that stewardship is attained with regards to the things that we spend money on and so that I can do the best job I can knowing whom I'm, I'll be working with on a weekly basis. It is not to change the environment that we've tried to establish of being inclusive and allowing people to come and go as they please, as they're able. But it is to let you know how valued you are when you're here and at least let you know that if you plan to not be here, we're going to try to put some things in place so that we know about it in advance. Does that make sense? Okay. So, information and communication. From us to you. General information pertaining to the entire music department can be found in that marked hanging box in the road room. Who has seen that so far? All right, so some of you have noticed that we've got some stuff put up in there now. It's a little different. There's a bunch of different boxes. There's going to be boxes for the group you sing in. There's going to be boxes for general information. And then there's going to be boxes for some leaders too. So this includes contact info and absences forms, which will be mentioned in detail in a bit. Um, also, information like performing schedules that per pertain to a specific ensemble can be found in the corresponding group hanging box, also in the road room. Now, how many of you already got those? So some of you? Okay. So those of you who have not received those yet, since this is VOH, Voices of Hope, you want to make sure that you go into the VOH box at the beginning of each rehearsal and or the beginning of each service that you come to and check it to see if there's anything new in there. Okay, right now you will find two things. You'll find the complete schedule so you can start to look on your calendars for all the services, rehearsals, and extra performances we're going to have through the end of Christmas. Well, it's 2015. Okay, and then you'll also find a two-month anthem schedule 
Uh, it does not actually include Reformation, but it includes everything else from now up until towards the end of October. So you'll know what pieces um, to sing in what order. And it's only a half sheet, so it's a little bit easier for you to keep in your folder and just keep your music updated. And that way, um, you'll know kind of generally how many things that we're probably going to be singing in a, in a given rehearsal, so you don't have to have like too much in there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. Please become accustomed to checking all appropriate hanging boxes before taking your seat at any rehearsals or services. Okay. So I need you to get used. This is not so much for this group. I think this is probably more for the smaller groups like Spirit Singers and Brotherhood. Always go in there and check that stuff before you come here. So that's what we want to try to get used to. All right. Now, information and communication from you to us. Please use the aforementioned contact information absences forms to let your section leader, group representative, know of changes to your contact information. So at this point, you may be going, what are you talking about? Yeah. All right. So, first of all, this is what the half sheet looks like if you are interested in receiving the anthems for Voices of Hope. And this is what the full sheet for 2015 looks like. Okay? So they're there. But in the music department general info, which applies to all groups, not just Voices of Hope, you're going to see these constantly replenished and never, and never uh, going out, which the uh, movie folk... Okay? So, the idea is simple. This serves two purposes. You can use it for one of each, or you can use it for both at the same time. But the idea is that if you ever want to tell me or someone else that we are sending stuff to you at the wrong address, or that you've changed your email or your phone or... Perhaps you want to tell us of your secondary address up north somewhere. All of that can be now done this way. Okay? And we want to keep up with you. So anytime something changes, even if you're one of those people that can't remember your email password, so you create a new one every week, <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> you need to fill out one of these every time that happens and tell me. Okay? I don't think so. All right. <laughs> it is of particular value if you are new and we don't have all your information yet, or perchance in the event that you have changed groups. So perhaps I know you really well, but you haven't been in Spirit Singers up until this point and now you want to join it. I need to know that we have to add you to the Spirit Singers list and not just keep you on the list you were at before. Okay? Any chance that you might think Perhaps I should let them know of this. Fill this out. Okay? If you're going to be away, all right, let's, let's address that. So, also use the other side of the contact info absences forms. When you plan to be absent during any rehearsals or services, even regularly, even only once, even when you live part of the year up north, etc. If you don't show up and haven't told us, we'll think you have serious problems and we'll try to check up on you eventually. Okay? So, if you come to me, and God forbid you do, and tell me, hey, we just bought an RV, I'll see you in two months, that does not, that does not substitute for using this, okay? Use this every time you plan to not be here. If you do not come to 8 o'clock, don't assume that I know. Go ahead and put it on this, just, even if it just says something in the effect at the bottom, I do not come to 8 o'clock. That way I will know not to expect you at 8 o'clock, okay? It is not to make you feel guilty. It is just for me to be more accurate so that I know how many sopranos we're going to have on any given Sunday morning, okay? All right. These forms and any other information can be turned into your section leader, group representative during rehearsals and services. Please do not bypass and try to go to the director, assistant, or accompanist. <laughs> That is now the responsibility of your section leader or group representative. So perhaps you're asking. I'll tell you in a minute. Alternately, you can email your information instead. Ah, so those of you savvy enough to know how to use the computer to send your information, instead of filling a piece of paper out, okay, your other option is to email to 
Music update at hopetoall.org. No, I'm not making that up. We really created that. Okay? And that is designed so that eventually I can have some volunteer data entry folk come into the computer, log on like that, and track all this stuff, whether you email it or, or do it in paper. And we can keep track of it all, sending it to the right places. So if you send it to me by accident, don't fret. I will forward it to music update at hopetoall.org and not read it. Okay? Same goes for Peg or Brenda or anybody else. We will forward it information specific to that, to that address, so it can be handled in that way. Um, and if you forget it, it's printed on this paper, so don't worry, you'll get one later. Okay? Now, notice I did not offer the option of calling me. When you call me, that means that I have to get the paper and fill it out for you. Do I want to do that? No. 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 Does Peg? No. Does Brenda? No. Definitely. No. She will cuss you. <laughs> Not to your face. To my face. Just joking. Okay. Next, section leaders, group representatives. This is what you've been waiting for. These positions are being held by volunteers from each choral ensemble, as well as spirit ringers. In the case of all but the handbells, there will be two people sharing the position. Each voice part in the Voices of Hope will have a dual section leader position, taking role and advocating for them. The only time that will not happen is tonight. Guess who gets to take role tonight? The Spirit Singers and Brotherhood of Harmony will have a dual group representative. It's not a section, it's a full group, therefore the different name. And they will perform the same function for the entire ensemble. In the case of group representatives, they will also actually be assisting in distributing music in boxes. We'll deal with that with those two groups later. Um, but for those of you who don't know, we have volunteers who have been diligently seeing that you get your music in your box for years longer than I have been here. They are continuing to do that. However, we didn't have that system in place before for Brotherhood of Harmony or Spirit Singers. And now we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's your team members. Ready? Drum Voices roll. of Hope soprano section. Linda Bowman and Chris Colgrove will be sharing the position. It just so happens that neither of them are here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but I have spoken with both of them, so I'm not I'm not cold calling anybody. Voices of Hope alto section. Marcia Sondergaard and Karen Wilkinson will share the position. Would you please make yourselves known to folks who may not know you? There's Karen. And there's Marsha. Okay. I'm leaving it up to the to the uh, section leaders. If, if you're both present, you can fight over who gets the clipboard. Okay. Voices of Hope tenor section. Judy Brown and Howard Wood. If you don't know who they are, there they are. Pretty much, it's only about five of you tonight anyway, so I think they all know who you are. All right, and the bases, Ken Qualheim and Jim Umbrello will be sharing the position, and neither of them are here. In the off chance during the season that both are missing, I may call upon somebody from another section to assist with that position. Hopefully it will be few and far between. Brotherhood of Harmony, we have Gary Gerke, Lenny Andrus, Spirit Singers, Gail Kaczynski, Bonnie Andrus, and Spirit Ringers, Wood Williams. Okay. Other volunteer teams. In addition to section leaders and group reps, we now will have teams for assisting with ongoing tasks throughout the year. Some teams are still being staffed. Those that have been, that, have, that have established chairpersons, people, are um, the departmental volunteer position, non-clerical, that I mentioned last year that's primarily going to be for making sure that you guys throw your water bottles away, um, <laughs> is going to be chaired by Lee Avers, but uh, for those of you who don't know, he's in Brotherhood and uh, Sunshine, but he's going to be contacting a few other folks who have expressed an interest through the system last year to see if you will assist him when he's not here. Um, and at least a couple of you I see are here tonight who we talked about, but I'll leave you in suspense. Social committee. Our chair for the social committee will be Marilyn Gerke. Marilyn, are you here? The social committee will assist with things like making sure that you get uh, breakfast on Reformation Sunday morning. 
or that we have some kind of an event periodically to make you feel welcome and like a family, um, or you know, making sure that we don't we aren't unnecessarily exclusive to new people, or you know, stuff like that. We don't want any clicks. You know, we're not like the pink ladies and the greasers. You know, <laughs> so. Uh, it's a Greece reference. Oh, sorry. Greece reference. For the, for the. We have a few folks on a list of people that Marilyn will be contacting as well. Some of you might be on that list, so if you get a call, say yes, um, and then she'll figure out how to get that together, and then we'll do all that. There's a few other things um, I'd like to add to the clerical assistance throughout the week to try to help with that process. Um, we've just verified that Carol Mackis will has agreed to help with some of the data entry to keep us updated on music files So that's a cool thing and there's some other stuff that we're going to try to institute um, overall As much as I was hoping that we would be able to throw all of the categorizing and keeping track to the office itself because initially that's what they said they wanted the uh, What do you call it? Church Windows is the software that they use to make sure that, you know, the church passes in how many people are here on each Sunday, and they have, they're the ones that track all your addresses and make sure that you get your, like, stewardship envelopes and stuff. So initially, we were going to try to do all that through them. Um, I was just recently told that that's not going to work, particularly for absences that happen in the future. So we're going to have to do that in-house in the music department, but we still need to feed them updated contact information so that if they need to get a hold of you, that they can do that and that they have an updated phone number. So we have to figure out how to do a lot of that stuff. Um, it's not ideal, but we're going to work with it until we figure it out and get it right so that we can make sure that, you know, thankfully, um, I don't think that anybody has fallen by the wayside when they've been ill or had a surgery or were out for an extended period of time. I think. Peg has done an amazing job of keeping up with getting you a card or having the choir fill something out to let you know we care about you not being here. But over time, as we get bigger, um, it's harder to remember stuff like that. And if you're not a person that tells somebody else that's coming to the choir, we may not always know when you're going to be gone for a couple of weeks due to a surgery unless you know, you've told us in advance. So we want to make sure that we don't leave anybody you know, in the lurch like that accidentally. It's not... It's not a purposeful thing. It's just we want to make sure that we cover our bases and we account for the fact that we're not getting smaller. Okay? All right. You ready for the uncomfortable part? <laughs> Music care and responsibility. You know who you are. We have implemented additional steps for keeping track of all the Hope's music before, during, and after you've sung it. We know who you are. <laughs> Return it. Always. Or I will find you. <laughs> I'm reading that, actually. I don't <laughs> Any photocopied item has been created solely in place of a cumbersome original that is on file. Photocopies are strictly to be discarded after use. We don't keep them. You aren't supposed to either. Okay? So we all know that. Original sheet music or books must only be marked with erasable pencil. No highlighters, no pen, no hard to erase colored pencils. If you insist on marking in anything but pencil, it will be your responsibility to reserve a time to make yourself an alternate photocopy that can be marked up to your liking. Okay? Now, that is simply because we don't have the time to go and do it for you in advance nor should we if we have copies already that we're passing out. Plus, this is purchased, purchased material owned by Hope Lutheran, which is essentially owned by you, okay? But we cannot, we can't allow it to be unusable after we're done, okay? So I'm gonna say a few more things to that effect, not because any of you are, are infraction people, but, but because that way I've said it, okay? Um, so, if you forget your music for a service or rehearsal, please notify your section leader group representative. You may be asked to share with the person beside you. That doesn't mean you will. It just might mean we don't have time always to go and photocopy for you at the beginning of a rehearsal because you forgot. We very well may be able to. It just depends. If you insist on folding or dog-earing pages or something similar, 
we must unfold them prior to returning user. Once again, it is not our job to automatically do this for you. Now, Peg and I agreed that I would use this example to show you what not to do. I don't know when Joy, Joy, Joy was performed. Thankfully, it was not. It was before I was here. But she had this in a file, and I'm going to show the camera first because that's what you do when you're television related. So here we have. Do, 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 do. Okay. Don't know whose this was. I'm not trying to make uh, an example of number. <laughs> but, uh, but here's the thing. Nobody paid or volunteer has the time to unfold 60 pages worth of that. It's just not. Okay? So it's not yours to do it. You're borrowing this. You're giving it back. Take care of it. All right? Enough said. Um, now, here's the really hard part. Mm. If your music is returned and the above guidelines have not been adhered to, you will be contacted by the director and either asked to rectify the problem or if irreparable damage has been done, charge for your copies. Okay? I'm sorry that I have to do that, but I can tell you that well-intentioned volunteers on my behalf went back in the database and went through every piece of music the church owns this summer that we might be able to sing this year or have sung in the past. And it was amazing how much was missing. Amazing. And it's interesting because when you start numbering things, you start seeing trends in which numbers are missing. Yeah. And many of you have had your numbers for a long time. Have you not? Okay? So, um, keep in mind that there's no hiding anymore. <laughs> I'm not planning on coming after folks for music that we're not doing this year, at least right now. But we are going to do a much more thorough job of keeping track of what you've given this year and making sure that we get it back. Okay? You will be given a grace period of a few weeks after performance to turn in music, after which time I will find you. <laughs> okay? Question. Question. Yeah. Well, is it possible to hand in music that was discovered at home after the fact without a problem? Absolutely. I am not saying that you will be held in lesser you know, stead on my, on my behalf if you bring me things that you suddenly just happen to have found under your mattress after this conversation. Even weeks from now, after you're cleaning out a closet, and you go, oh, what will Ken say? He will say nothing. He will say thank you. Okay? So, before I do have to call you and say, you know, there's an awful lot of number 20s that are missing, and I'm making that up. I don't know if it's 20 or not, so if you're 20, don't worry about it. Okay? Um, before I have to do that, just... Might want to take an extra look around, okay? Um, God forbid it had made its way up to Michigan. I hope that's not the case. But <laughs> if it's down here somewhere in your Florida home, just take an extra check if you think you might be one of those people, okay? All right, that's it. Other preparation. This year, Vo uh, Voice of Hope will institute a seating chart. Oh. It will be a work in progress. As we accommodate new and returning people, check this regularly on the bulletin board in the row room with your section leader or at the end of your row. In all likelihood, that's probably going to go away in a few weeks because we don't want to leave those up during services, and I don't know whether I'm going to remember to tape them every time, but just know that we're trying to make sure that you can find your seat, and if something does change, I'll make you aware of, hey, it changed, check it again, so you know, okay? Please be flexible as we inaugurate this and be willing to befriend someone you might not be used to sitting next to, it is of utmost concern to me that we are always warmly open to new participants with all ensembles, large and small. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot uh, make this important enough that this is a church more so than whether, well, no matter what your theology, more so even than out in the world maybe, we represent Christ here. One of those things, I, I would say a very important tenet means being kind to people that you don't know and not making them feel like because they're new that they don't belong. 
I have never, ever heard of that happening in this ensemble, and I never want to. Deal? Deal. All right, cool. Um, so, there should never be an air of exclusivity ever. And that's one of the things that actually Marilyn and I have talked about too, because with the social stuff, it's not always convenient to get 80 people in together with spouses to do stuff. We may end up doing something with just the Sopranos, but <clears throat> we don't want that to be, you know, to the detriment of somebody who feels like they're being left out either. Okay, so there needs to be an, an idea that says even if we do things that are small, it's still, you know, everybody's equal that way. Uh, rehearsal discs will continue to be available for larger works like the cantata musical moments, but not at this time for weekly anthems. I think that might be different than it was last year. I know there was a, a, a tendency to try to look for things recorded to help you learn them in advance. But then as I got here and we started doing more stuff that you didn't have them for, you guys left and killed it. We didn't need them. And once when you were out and I filled in for you, I asked that question. It was overwhelming. Against yeah, happiness. it's a coaster, basically. It's just put your drink on it, right? So, um, so like I said, I, I have, when when I'm able to for larger things, I have ordered them, like for Cantata, I already have them. We're going to make copies. They're even specified by voice part. You know, can thank me later. But, um, but, sorry about that. But in reality, um, I don't think you need them regularly, and it's a lot of work, so I'm not going to do it, Okay. Ken has set a goal of eventually producing a warm-up CD for you to personally use outside group rehearsals, but as of right now, it's unfinished. Okay, it hasn't been started. But, <laughs> but it will when all of this kind of stuff settles down and i got some time. Okay? You can hold me to it. You know, be that person that goes to your section leader and says, could you please ask Ken at the end of rehearsal whether he's done the disc yet? Feel free to practice on your own as you are able. Your excellence affects those around you. If you desire additional material specifically concerning using your singing voice to greater effect, vocal health, etc., please make your interest known through your section leader group rep. Um, you know, I, I thought of that kind of at the last minute. I don't have any hard and fast things that I can hand you right now, although we did a little kind of a half funny thing last year in the newsletter. But I know some of you care about taking care of your voices. Maybe you don't take voice lessons, but you want to improve as a singer. And I appreciate that. I want to try to encourage that. I know it's your instrument, so you want to do the best job you can. So I will do my best to try to help you along those lines as you make them aware of your interest. And then finally, and all most important, keep having fun because you guys are all awesome. Okay? So I am going to now stop my tape. Tape. It's not a tape anymore. Do we even use those? Bye.